Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, welcome to my channel. My name is Juliet Kana and I post a new recipe both on my YouTube channel and on my blog every single Wednesday. So please uh, follow, subscribe so that you don't miss out on any recipes. And today we are going to be making um, fish. I know you've seen in the title we are going to be making lemon garlic um, fish with lots of chili in it, um, lots of tomatoes, etc. And honestly I love fish, one of my favorite proteins. But because of the economy, I don't have it as much as I would like to, so I just replace her with chicken. But I'm sure um, if you clicked on this video, you probably like fish, so I know you like this recipe. And today we're going to be using full tilapia. If you don't have a full fish, you can always use fish fillet. And if you don't have tilapia, you could always use any other fish you have. Personally, but I love tilapia as a freshwater fish, um, as compared to Nile patch and others, because I feel like it has concentrated flavors already but if you prefer any other fish you can use you can replace tilapia and use that in this recipe so i'm just going to walk you guys through the ingredients and how i prepare the fish before i cook it because we're going to be cooking it in two stages first stage in oil then the second stage in the stew so i'm just going to walk you through how i prepared the fish etc and then we'll come back here and then we'll get through the recipe Start by scoring the fish so that all the marination flavors can get into all the cracks and be evenly marinated. I'll marinate this in some ginger and garlic, some salt, freshly squeezed lemon juice, some soy sauce and finally some black pepper. And I will rub this into the fish, into the cavity of the fish, into all the cuts so that it can be well marinated. For the stew, we'll be using tomatoes, ho ho, some dania, two onions, some fresh chilies, some ginger and garlic, a bit of tomato paste, and for the spices, fish masala, cumin, coriander, paprika, and black pepper. For the fish masala, I was just curious about how it tastes. Um, it's pretty cheap, but if you don't have it, you can use the other spices. So before we cook this fish, I want to quickly prepare it, and here I have all-purpose flour. I'm going to be adding some salt and black pepper. I love black pepper and some of this fish masala. I want this to coat the fish and give it a nice crispy crust which also will go towards thickening the stew towards the end. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is to heat some oil. This is some vegetable oil. Make sure it's really hot before dropping the fish inside to dust all the excess flour from the fish. I know some people who are going to buy the already made fish, this is fine. You can just skip this whole part and then go on to the part where we make the steam. Once our fish is nice and ready on both sides, golden brown is what we are aiming for. I'm going to remove this and set this aside. So my ginger and garlic is now fragrant, it's been about 2 minutes and I want to go in with my spices, coriander, some fish masala, a bit of cumin, about half a tablespoon, lots of paprika because I just love paprika. And then I'm going to let this toast for just a minute. As I have mentioned in many of my videos before, toasting, allowing the spices to toast for a minute just brings out the best flavors so now after a minute of toasting i'll go in with my tomatoes so the liquid from the tomatoes helps deglaze the bottom of the pan where the spices have been toasting I'll add my heaped tablespoon of tomato paste once this is done i'll cover this up so to allow the tomatoes to steam and you know produce their own liquid and then they'll soften up and then we'll come back add some water add the rest of the ingredients before adding the fish back in so one of the best skills you can pick up when you're working in a kitchen is improvising. So my pan is a pan. I love using it because it's big and the fish won't break. But unfortunately it doesn't come with a lid and I need to cover this up. I'm improvising with a lid from something else and I have just brought my tomatoes together and then I'll cover this to allow them to steam. That's called improvisation. <laughs> Once it's been steaming up for a while, we're going to add in some water. my ho ho after 
enter the water is because personally I like the crunchiness in hoho so I prefer to add it towards the end so that it can have less time to cook but if you prefer them softer you just add them together with the tomatoes but I like how how the crunchy hohos the different textures in food it just really make me happy so we have the crunchiness from the I mean the flakiness and the crunchiness from the fish crunchiness from the hoho and then we have some tomatoes floating around and then we have the the stew and then I'm going to have this with garlic so all those textures coming together they just really make food um, go to the extra level so before my fish goes in I don't need to thicken too much because I want the fish to boil here for at least at least five minutes five to ten minutes I want to season this and make sure that it's well seasoned before my fish goes in salt some more black pepper and I'm going to throw in a fresh chili mix this around Press this to make sure it's well seasoned before the fish goes in salt is perfect the chili will take some time to you know seep through it but I can feel the heat at the back of my mouth so I know that my stew is ready for my fish I also have maggi ugali over here boiling and okay, let me tell you guys a secret just between me and you i am terrible at making ugali it's the one thing i have not hacked so i'm not going to zoom into my process because i'm just making ugali for myself you guys do not need to see that side of me <laughs> i'm going to finish off with some dania So we have come to the end of this video and I'm very happy with how this fish has turned out. Video, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for clicking on this video. If you subscribe, thank you for being part of this family. And if you're not, I believe in you. <laughs> Please click the subscribe button so that you don't miss a video any, every Wednesday. And if you like this video, don't forget to like, to share with someone who you know likes fish and would like this recipe and to subscribe. I hope you guys have a lovely week. I'll see you next week. Bye.